everyone, I actually initiate trade. Want to just demonstrate how does actually actual work? I initiate a reversal trade, uh, but I was talking without switching the chart, so I have to re-record this again. Right. So right now, what has taken place later on in the afternoon? I'm looking for reversal or continuous trend. Which one I'm going to trade? I don't know. Right. So I have I have the setup. The setup is again a breakout trade. If it penetrates second bar, make new high, you buy. But I actually missed this trade, but actually this was the trade, and then it fell again, came back down second bar, you sell. Okay, you kick the trade, take the loss, and you take the reversal of that. And so I, I, have, I would have short around here, all right? But I missed that. By the time, I have a time to get off my short was over here, so I'm like, okay, whatever, take the short, all right? Because since I would have took a short here, all right? So took the short, I short here, Took a shot here. Took a shot because on the MACD, I'm seeing dying momentum, right? On the MACD, look, it make new high, but I have low, low. So I'm looking for reversal, right? But right now, it's breaking again. This is not good on the trade. I might have to flip again. All right, this is this is the thing about about trading. You have to be, be ready to take the other side if you need to, right? So, 10.75. I may have to take it, take the loss. Right now, it, now this bar broke. Well, here's, here's the thing, it broke. I need a second bar, I'm ready to take the other side. Right. That, that's the exam, oh, nope, not yet. See if it break. I need a second bar to make a new high. So right now, this is a new high, right? I'm gonna mark the new high. Right. Mark the new high, and I'm waiting. Okay, this is a breakout bar, so I am gonna move this now. Okay, I am gonna, this is the new peak right here, and it broke that peak. I need a second bar. Okay, it's getting there, it's very close. Is it gonna break? I'm ready to flip my tray again. Nope, nope, this haven't break yet. Nope. I have a stop loss in place in case I miss every day. You know, maybe I get a coffee, it came back. Oh my god, it went through. All right, but right now, I cannot actually go get coffee. I do have coffee in front of me. I'm waiting. Do I flip the trade? I mean, take the other side. Oh, look. And here we go. Nope. Ah. This is a difficulty sometimes I have to face. In trading, actually, earlier. well, they make bar completion. Yep, take the trade. Yep, buy market. I took the trade. Now I'm long. Okay, took the loss. Now I'm long because this bar. Okay, now I'm long. Now I'm long. Let's mark this. I'm a long position right now. All right. Interesting enough, I went long. So, took the other side. Right. Okay, so where is my exit? Very tight. Very tight. Over here. Okay. If you drop below here, I need to get out. All right. So my exit is, has moved below this. Below this, I'm out. All right, so right now, this is a 1 to 2.5 or so. All right, who knows? But who knows? So now I'm long this guy. I took the loss. Uh, AMD. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I took a small loss. But that's the nature of thing. All right, so I will see if it dropped below that. If it dropped below that, I will short again. That's how I do. I will flip the trade and short it. Yeah, um, but the position side remains the same. So we'll see how this one go. Right. Um, uh, he's doing all these fake out or what? What is it doing? Right. And you, you will encounter this. The other way to look at this is if you want to avoid such tight stop loss, I can do this. I can say, this is, use this line on top Using this low, absolute stop loss would be would be that low. All right. All right. But 
look, this peak is right at the level of previous peak right here. Right, so it looks like the momentum will, will be turning. Who knows? All right. So we might have to take the other side. This is the price trading, the price you have to play when you play the game. You're going to work the trade until it works out. Um, yeah, sold it, we open the tray, and um, you know, the question become what I want to do, and I got to wait again. All right. So this is part two of the tray, as you can see, you can get very active actually, it's chaotic actually. All right. you know, I see it running, I, I want to take a reversal tray, but that was not the tray. I right. kicked the reversal, now I'm thinking it's break out, and then now it's coming back down again. And that's a difficulty you actually have to face on trading. And that's why it's good to have these practice. Yeah, Charlie, right? Okay. I might have to kick this trade and flip the other side again. Yeah, so I'm I gotta set up and get ready. Okay, I have my I have my, my quick buy quick sell button all ready to go. And yeah, the real question is do I kick it here and reverse it, or do I wait for here? And I will tell you right now, I will kick it. Oh, getting ready to kick. And so, and take, take the other side again. Okay. Because that is a fake breakout again. There's a fake breakout, and the momentum is just flat and flat. All right. I can actually just turning into red. Okay, so this bar and the next bar is very important, whether I stay with this tray or kick the tray. Oh, kick the tray. Get the other side. Done. I just initially trade. I'm shorting it. Right. Yeah. So I'm waiting. Now that I'm short. Right. Now the question is, am I going to take the next breakout? No. Okay. Every three attempt and, and, and it's doing this, I'm going to stay with short now. So I, so I flip the tray. Right. And that how trading is. Right. You penetrate, I'm gonna flip the tray. Right. And I flip the tray and now I wait. Right. I need to clear here or even this. Right. Go back to this level. Follow this level. And that will be a win for this tray. Right. Um, I'm staying with the short now. If one, two, and three, triple attempt, and, and I think it's going to drift sideways now. Right, uh, right this, right? The, the situation is just that. Let's, let's get it a better. So, Mr. Morning Tray, trying to play afternoon tray, and I have two stop running. This is, this is a stop run. Dude. Move up a little, come back. Move a little, come back. These are stop run. They're very clear. There's no real buy right now to me. All right. And this is just after fooling around and stuff like that. Now it's going to come. Yeah. Two times and it fell. It's just a short time. I expect some selling pressure. You know? All right. There's no real buy right now at this level. And the border market. All right. It, it's just. Yeah. Coming back a little. It's not even 1%. So we had it run. Um, and I can expect expect afternoon drift now unless the market really come up a little bit. Right. So yeah, that's working the trade. That's how that's how it kind of work. Sometimes you have to work these trade. And so I took two small two losses already in actuality. So this one has to be a one to three ratio because I now I decided to stay with the long. Right. So yeah, so. Around here, uh, yeah, one to two, two point five. That's good. So, make, make half a unit or so, all right. um, and that's that's how it kind of work. Is it, it fell these top, it felling. Um, and it's a good thing I kicked it. I have you have I have set my stop loss tight, and and so I have a better chance of not only recover but make a win. But they yeah, the. It's, these are running stop. These are running stop. So clear now, right? As you can see. 
Now, it's going to run what? It's going to run these stop also. It's going to run this stop. It's going to try to run this stop. All right. But that's the intraday. When you, when you do 100 take you get half for stop. This is why I don't trade intraday. But I'm using this to demonstrate how it will work if this is daily bar. All right. If two, you know, two attempts fail, and then I will add it on the short side for right now. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So it's coming in, and it's doing its day. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, so yeah, just have to let it play out, let it do its thing, and that's how it is. Uh, intraday runs stop, but it doesn't matter because I'm not saying this at runs, I'm saying that fell attempt at breaking up. It's already on the source side, right? You have to read the market, you have to read the bar. Even with fundamental good news, it moves so much already. Right, so it's time to retrace, come back a little bit. And see where the real buyers are in again. So I'm, right now I'm just gonna stay with this. Right, it's gonna do this. It's gonna go down, up, and then hopefully down, up a little, right? In, in that sense. So we'll wait. I wanted to clear this line, and then I wanted to clear this. Then I'd be in good, good hands to clear this. Otherwise, if it breaks up, right? This is the point. Do I turn around this tray? Because it's the yeah, it's up. So much already. The probability of it to continue to go up and then to reach 9%, 10%, giving the fundamental, whatever it is, the reason is, I don't see that it, it within the day. Right? You need to come back and seek the buyers out now. Yeah, actually, even if even it's not, for it to go 10% of you know, such a short time, that's a little bit ridiculous. But ridiculous does happen, right? So yeah, that's a part of the trading too. You have a lot of like, like thinking and 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 just thinking. What does it really want to do? What does it really want to do? Oh, right now is is at the level. Uh, yeah, at that level, and this trade turned out to be holding. Okay, now I clear that line. I need to clear the line. Go to the next level. And it, I hope it goes to the next level. Right now, we're just waiting for it to play out. And well, well, within within a half an hour, we're doing this. This is how chaotic trading can get. You gotta you work the trade break out, first break out. You gotta get out on trend falling. You gotta get out on trend falling. Missed the big one this morning. That was the trade. Right, that was a good trade this morning. Yeah, yeah. So we might have a few green bar before this might continue around. Right? But this is actual live trading, and make it make this way. I'm short. I'm long. I'm short. Uh, working the trade, working your position to find the real move for the t for the time frame right now, within that time frame, yeah. And you can do five minute, ten minute, one hour, four hours, daily, weekly, monthly, whatever time frame you want to choose. Right. The, the mechanics remain the same. You see fundamentals there. Okay, I'm long biased, but I can still take the reversal trade. This reversal trade just, just. Take it as less risk and reward. Right. And then when we come back the other side, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Right now, actually I'm I'm break even now. I'm break even on this trade. I mean we cover my losses already if I close out right now. But I would like it to run. I would I need it. I need I'm here to make money, not to break even, right? So I at the minimal, I want it to go to this level. And and popular wise, I don't know. Chances why? I don't know. I can look up the Option pricing to give you probability at any given time, but this is intraday, so that option pricing, option is daily, not intraday pricing. So that I mean, the price moved intraday, but yeah, I can use that actually. I can use the option. Let's take a look. Yeah, use the options. All right, if I want to use options, All right, so let's let me take a quick look on option pricing. Um, right now on AMD, All right. Let's look at the uh, the most recent two days to expiration, the weekly options. Okay. So the probability of it reaching my final target target if right here 10, 105. So 105, let's say 105. What's the chance of it 105 right now? Well, the delta is forty one, so it's forty percent only now. But it changed now. It's now, yeah, forty percent of it doing that in two days. Not today though. That's the thing. 
because this is intro day is very hard to use that to backtrack to back right, um, and I don't have an option um, pricing model that, that do intro day for me right now so I don't have that I just don't have that but two days from now it's only 40 percent for it to do that all right and for it to go let's say 107 yeah 43 percent yeah, it's hot so I cannot really use uh, Mo uh, daily monthly option pricing to, 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 to apply to intraday directly. I'm sure I can run some correlation analysis and do that, but by the time the trade's probably over, right? Yeah. So now it's maybe going sideways and so, so yeah. So I'm going to end this part two right now and I would upload a part three how this trade actually end up. Uh, chances are I think I'm going to get out uh, when it reach the next low. Uh, that would be a good point to actually get out. Yeah. Oh, it's running. Oh my God. Matter of fact, I might have I I might get a chance to uh the profit. Yeah. Really quick. So yeah. Right. It's very close, it's getting there. Um so now right now I'm actually making money. Yeah. So that's that. And staying close to uh, I'm gonna let maybe if the momentum there, oh, let the break. Look, it crossed over, so that look good. I think the sellers, I mean, at least right now, we're seeing some selling, selling pressure. Uh, that big bar just came in, um, so just let it work itself out, yeah, and, and that might. So what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. So it's decided to go sideways. Have a Okay. I'm gonna have to do a part three of this. I'm gonna have to upload anything, and uh, we'll see. Yeah. Now we really solve that. Yeah. So I have to wait and let it work work the tray out. Okay. I will have to upload part three, and then um, I was hoping that I don't have to upload a part three. So yeah. So I can do that. Uh, so but uh. I look like um, it's going to drag a little longer on this level until it, what they want to do. Uh, and this is a, is a whole bunch of red on this. And this is where I need to clear in actuality. That will be a good place to get off around this area, around this level. Actually, that will have reached this level on that. Um, and if it's it, people decide to get off the board at all and then come give it a little bit more sell selling pressure, that would be perfect. But who knows, right? Uh, um, let the market, the market is always right, let, let it work, work itself out. Um, um, yeah, you clear this line, so yeah, this is the next level where to go. Um, is it, is, are, people, are they going to push it down further? That's as I know, and we're waiting. I'm waiting. Um, let's see if, if that, that that's a good place to uh, close the trade and take profit. Right. Um, and that's how it is. That's the, the difficulty in trading. You have to wait. You have to be patient. Right. This morning trade was a really good trade, the breakout. Why not break out? And if it's the same thing, if you decide to reverse, I would take the reversal trade too. The same thing applied. Same set up same way apply right now yeah. okay i'm going to end the video right here and, and now upload part three how this end up okay well that's it for now uh we'll see how that one go